However, the economic uncertainty lies ahead in 2009. As we heard last night, as we say that the economy at rest, uh, we will be losing much more property taxes revenue this year. Uh, we need to work on infrastructure. Infrastructure improvement is very important uh, for the city of Calexico. We are having major problems on Highway 98, and we talked about tunnels and bridge, and we need this because of the traffic and also from a public uh, safety. Uh, and I'd like to know if we have any fees now that is uh, a transportation impact fees paid by developers. Transportation impact fees, I'd like the department to look at transportation impact fees uh, for additional road improvement. I know Major D is basically for local roads and, uh, uh, and streets that are existed uh, and we're pretty much limited by this, but uh, if we can look into introducing these new impact fees, uh, to sustain the impact on vehicles uh, crossing our community. Uh, we also need a, a commitment to green, uh, investing, uh, green, green growth, you know, go green. This is what we need to do. We need to invest in uh, trains and additional uh, uh, landscape improvement uh, parks uh, throughout the city. Uh, we talked about the park improvement plan, which uh, Luis Puentes brought this up. I'd like to know where we stand on this and uh, how it's progressing when we will have discussion on that. Uh, we need a commitment uh, to us to go uh, solar and if anyone wants to go on the first, uh, to see the first solar post on Heffernan between 3rd and 4th Street is invited. We have a new uh, solar post. The city of Polisico also have uh, an idea and try to work with some solar system that will be uh, uh, in that will be here in our facility, the city hall. So, uh, also, uh, we need uh, to go aggressively uh, after grants, recreational public safety, and the library. Uh, we need to continue uh, to be focused on economic development, enhancing our development review uh, process, and attracting new business to Calexico. Uh, it's important that we have a workshop uh, with all city commissioner and the planning commissioner so that we are uh, on the same truck. So thank you and have a happy new year. Viva Mexico. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Um, same for me. I want to wish everyone a happy new year. Um, it's going to be a tough year, but I think um, if we're positive about it, we can do certainly great things by being optimistic about certain things and being a family and being, uh, with that care that we have that we all share for Calexico. So, I um, want to just piggyback on Mayor Hussan's comments. We do have some engineering work, um, uh, an estimate on converting at least City Hall, the City Hall building, uh, to 50% solar powered. And I contacted a company that, that helped uh, uh, Payers Memorial up in Brawley. They have a solar, big solar facility that's powering, I don't know if it's, if it's their maternity ward or some part of their hospital, um, and they were able to do that with nothing out of pocket. They were able to finance it, and with the cost savings and the energy, they were able to pay for the capital improvement. So um, I contacted them to see if they'll, if they're interested in giving us an idea. Um, obviously, at no cost to the city to give us an idea of what it would cost them to convert to solar power. So I think we could be an example for green technology uh, in the rest of the, the county. I think we're the first ones to have a solar power street light. Are we not? We should be. That's possibly news there, Nick. <laughs> um, so it's exciting, right? Um, nothing more? Just getting ready for to tackle on the main shoes for 2009. Councilman, Roman. Well, again, uh, Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, I think that. Uh, uh, this is a mark. This is marking today's meeting. Is marking the uh, the beginning of the second half of the three of us that were elected in back in July, and I can assure you it's been an honor for all of us. Uh, one of the things is that uh, enough penny has been said by Councilman Osan. I covered about just about most of the issues, even though I'm sure there's going to be much more that will be surfacing uh, as the meetings go along. Uh, one of the things that I look forward to is uh, is maybe with the creation uh, of the bid is where the uh, 
uh, the bid, the city of Calexico, like, along with uh, fire and police, to to really work on what's going on, on the uh, congestion going on there on First Street and Rockwood. Uh, uh, they're familiar with my uh, my concerns, and and I'm hoping that uh, something can be resolved there. Not just for the immediate uh, need for the city of Caribe, but uh, uh, afterwards would be much more an attractive uh, site for the city of Colorado where it could attract uh, much more visitors uh, visiting downtown Caribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. I wish you, I wish you happy new year. Thank you for being here tonight. And uh, also, I would like to request a change of city ordinance from 25 miles to uh, 50 miles in front of the Kiki Camarena. I received uh, a lot of complaints. So we need to work on a uh, change of city ordinance on that. I believe that uh, we can, uh, let's see, uh, the Department of Police Department can decide on that. So we need to work on that also on uh, Kiki, um, that, that's Kiki Camarena, right, on uh, Rivera, Rivera Street. And we need to work also in uh, Zapata, where, um, what can I uh, Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez, Cesar Chavez. <laughs> we need to work on both sides because um, also I receive a lot of things. So we need to work, I don't know, probably next council meeting, we need to, to start changing that uh, city ordinance. Instead, 25 miles per hour, we need to change to 50 miles per hour. And, yes? School zone. If it's, a, if it's a school zone and it's automatically 50 miles per hour, so we might have to put signs out there. Uh, I'll take a look at it tomorrow. And if we do have to, we'll go out there and put, we'll put the sign that says 50 miles per hour in school hours, which is an hour before school starts to an hour after school. And oh, uh, on there. Okay, well that's great because I asked you to some of the uh, police department and they tell me that, that I mean, I mean, we need to change the city order. But you already mentioned it. And, and, and I want to apologize to uh, Mr. Castro, uh, City Council Castro. The chief hasn't been here. Uh, he's in Washington, D.C. And I've been there and I didn't get a call. Had I got the call, you would not Well, actually, he, he told me that. Yeah. The chief. Okay. You told me that. It's probably, it's probably a mistake, but I'm putting the signs up there. Okay, that's great. That's good. Yeah, but he knows about the speaking. So. Yeah, we just need to put the signs up there. Okay, that's great. Kiki Camarena and... What's the other one? Calabas. No. The Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez and Kiki Camarena. Yes. Yes, will you please? Also, in, uh, in front of the Pollo Loco, where is uh, Paul Roth and Martin Luther, Martin, Martin Luther King, this is it. If you came from uh, from east, no, from west to from east to west, there's no um, a stop light to make a left turn, and uh, we need either um, a stop sign or um, a line so we can make a left turn because there's too many accidents there. So do you? Do you know where I did that? It might be the Kino 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 Kino. Kino. Yeah, it's over there. I work right by there. So it, 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 it is a uh, serious safety issue. Uh, if you just put in a turning lane, if you just put in a turning lane, that may be more than sufficient. It's turning left onto Martin Luther King. Yes, you came from East to West. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes, turning east south. To west. Yeah, he going east to west. Good afternoon, Mr. General Services. We'd have to take a good look at that because there's two lanes going both east and west. We don't know if that's, those streets in that area is wide enough to accommodate a turn lane in there. So we will have to take a look at that and uh, we may have to have an engineer, traffic engineer, take a look at it and find out if it's suitable or when the improvements hopefully are made, we can wind it a little bit, but we'll take a look at it. Also, Nick, um, I, I have a question for you. Uh, what, what is the size on the restroom on the first trip? Okay. The restroom, the size of the restroom, we've been, sorry we haven't updated you up in regards to that, but we have updated the uh, downtown committee. 